Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture we will discuss about Newland's law of octaves. Okay, and in the previous lecture we have discussed about Dobernier's uh, triads. So after the attempts of Dobernier's encouraged other chemists to correlate the properties of different elements of elements with their atomic masses. So the Dobernier attempts encouraged other scientists or other chemists to find out the relation between the atomic masses. So in 1866, a scientist or a chemist named as John Newlands So, Dobernier attempts were in 1817. He was a, an English scientist. An English scientist arranged the then known elements, then known elements in the order. of increasing atomic masses increasing atomic masses okay he started with the he started with the elements having lowest atomic mass elements having lowest atomic mass like hydrogen okay and ended at thorium ended at thorium which was the 56th element which was the 56th element so what he did was he compared this to the octaves so student what he found is that he found that every 8th element every eighth element every eighth element had properties had properties similar to that of the first so that is why it is Newland's law of octaves okay because it is in the group of eight and that is why it is called to the and he compared this to the he compared this to the octaves found in music octaves found in music So like what he did is, let me write the octaves of music, it is Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Dha, Ni. Okay. So this was the sound of the music and what he did is, he arranged the elements such like it is Hydrogen, fluorine, fluorine, copper and nickel and Br. Okay. So in this lithium, sodium, potassium, copper, Rb, beryllium, magnesium, 
zinc sr strontium okay and here he did is b boron aluminium cr y ce and la okay so here he arranged as carbon silicon titanium indium zr n p mn as black oxygen sulfur iron sc then black so he made the table like this in which these are the octaves okay so this is the table and this is the newlands law of octave students and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do let me know in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there thank you students in the next lecture we will discuss about mendeleev's periodic table okay so stay tuned for the next lecture on mendeleev's periodic table thank you happy learning